All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video. Today, we're going to look at this bad ass right here. Tech God Goku with his EZA. Um, honestly, I think Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is, I mean, probably going to be like, like stronger, right? Like he, he's better. He is better. But I feel like this is the unit that people are going to get the most use out of. Um, this Goku, the way they built him, he is a must run on all of his teams. He's a rainbow orb changer. He actually is like very similar build wise to almost like a tech Khalifla. You're going to be able to utilize this guy in so much difficult content. He's going to be such a defensive ace. Overall, this guy is just so, so good. Amazing link set. Really, Goku, if you go through every single facet of his kit, super attack effect, passive, links, category teams, like he's good in every single area. So number one, he does get 7% attack and defense per orb, but he, okay, so check his defense out, but he gets 77% attack and defense with two or more rainbow key spheres. So we jump up to 221k defense. He does raise defense by 30% on super attack effect and seals. So we're talking about a god Goku here who's doing 4.56, but he's untouchable. And he's a great linking partner with the best unit in the game, the LRs. He's creating rainbow orbs. Dude, this god Goku is actually like a killer next to the LR gods right here. Like, there's no reason at all not to run these two as a rotation. Um, and it's like, let, okay, so god Goku has 77% damage reduction if there's a movie boss or pure Saiyan category enemy, right? Um, let's say that there's not one of those type of enemies around float Pycon. Um, but let's say there's not one of those enemies around, right? God Goku on that turn was still at like 260, 270 K defense after he super attacked. That's more than good enough, um, to run him even in difficult content. So they made this God Goku actually just like a must run. Um, pure Saiyans are, of course, the most common enemy you're going to fight, right, across the entire game. Pure Saiyans and then hybrid Saiyans. Um, you know, movie bosses are definitely around, too. Like, this god Goku, of course, is going to completely dominate the ultimate red zone, right? He's going to go in there and he's going to absolutely disintegrate that with little effort utilized. Um, again, rainbow orb changing, nuking, it's just like you go through everything. Like, he's just so good. And then his link set, too. Um, so God Goku's link set is Saiyan Warrior Race, Godly Power, Super Saiyan, Prepared for Battle, Over in a Flash, Warrior Gods, and Fierce Battle. That link set is going to allow him, he is a huge cog on Realm of Gods, Movie Hero, all these teams. Um, when they decide to put out good fusion characters, this God Goku is going to be incredibly good. Um, in terms of just like completely uh, dominating and helping those uh, fusions be better. Because again, people always get real, I don't know, weird about fusions. But when they drop, everyone is super hype, right? Right now, a lot of the fusion characters, the standalone fusion characters, are still not that great. Um, we have the two Super Saiyan 4 Gogetas who are really good and LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. But like a lot of the Vegitos outside of... STR, uh, LR Super Vegito, right? What he, the transforming one. A lot of the fusion characters are still really not the craziest, right? They're not, you know, characters that are competing as like, you know, one of like the 20 or 30 or 40 best units in the game or anything like that. Um, so, you know, we're still going to be getting a lot of fusions in the future. Um, and then, you know, not to mention all of the, the fusions from like heroes and stuff like that, you know, we'll, we'll still get decent characters from over there. You know, the Xeno Gogetas and Xeno Vegetos and stuff like that. And it's like, if any of them have Prepare for Battle, Over in a Flash, any of these types of links, um, they are going to be looking really, really good with this god Goku's rainbow orb changing, the crazy damage reduction. Um, not only is this god Goku crazy, but I feel like he's going to age quite well also. Um, I just feel like he's just going to be very solid. Um, remember, he's got the seal. So it's like, you know, you could bring him into many Super Battle Road stages. Um, and in a lot of these Super Battle Road stages, right, you'll be able to get that seal off. You'll probably have the damage reduction going, the rainbow orb changing. Um, 
God Goku is a character that is nuking, but as a rainbow orb changer, it's just very easy to be able to activate these parts of his passive, right? Nuking characters that are also rainbow orb changers, I don't think it's, it, it doesn't matter. Like they, they'll be able to hit their passives when you want. And the way rainbow orb changing typically works out is you're still able to get enough key or orbs even for other characters on the rotation, right? So I don't you don't have to force everything to God Goku and then other characters won't be able to eat as well. That's why rainbow orb changing is so powerful. But nuking characters who are either creating type key spheres or they're not creating rainbow orbs at all are just far less inferior. But again, God Goku is a rainbow orb changer. Again, you go through this unit, literally every like aspect of his kit is very good. His stats are good. His links are good. Um, he's on a lot of category teams where he could be very effective. Yeah, right here, God Goku in slot one. He's literally going to take no damage. It's nothing, it's nothing, uh, this great up Goku can't hurt him because not only is he going to be able to get the... Um, uh, he's going to raise his defense on super attack and stuff like that. Yeah, get that and then put the LR next to him. Um, and then give the AGL orbs to PyCon as well because we do want to activate uh, PyCon's uh, support type buff right here. So check what the defense is real fast for the rotation. Um, 197k. Again, remember that he gets the 30% defense when he super attacks, but he's got 77% damage reduction. Oh, and PyCon's support buff did kick in right there as well. So his defense is even a bit higher. Like, just the way he... He's just a wall. Like, an impenetrable wall that's not going to be taken down. Um, and it's like, with him around, it really allows the LR gods to just work at full power. This this will do, what? 50 damage? Yeah. <laughs> 37. Nice. Nice Great Ape Goku super attack right there. Now, you guys know that Great Ape Goku, he's not some weak little pussy. This Great Ape Goku does a lot of damage with that flame breath of his. And God Goku is just like, yeah, nice, dude. Like, uh, I don't literally don't care at all. Like, <laughs> God Goku is, is just really powerful, right? Again, I would probably argue, like, Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta just might be better than him. But it, it's like, God Goku, you're going to get more use. He's he's just too good. Um, I don't, I really don't understand. Like, I think the God Vegeta is going to be a solid unit. But he's not like a character like this Goku who's like good in every single aspect all over the place, like perfectly made, right? That That's what's a, a bit of a bummer. That's why I think what they did with the 7th anniversary LR is just so good, where I, I, I feel like, yeah, go ahead and pop that. I feel like it's very tough to sort of like separate the two 7th anniversary LRs. I don't really think either is better than the other. I think they're they're actually balanced with pros and cons very well. And then you see, like, this God Goku versus God Vegeta, and it's like, uh, Dokkan, how about you do that there? Like, you know, they should have given God Vegeta's guaranteed guard. They should have made him a Rainbow Orb Changer as well, right? Made him a little bit more competitive with this God Goku. I mean, maybe they're scared about having uh, movie heroes or something be too powerful. I I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's Dokkan. It's PvE regardless. So, all right. We'll probably make this the last rotation. Um, Goku... It's just tremendous. I mean, he's as good as everyone is saying. Um, you're just literally going to get so much value out of this Goku. Again, across the entire game. He, he is going to be good across the entire game. He doesn't need a movie boss or pure Saiyan category enemy to be good. But if those types of enemies are around, he is actually untouchable, right? Like, this Super Saiyan 4 Goku type, advan like, type disadvantage... <clears throat> he could super attack and Goku is still going to take double digits, right? In order for this Goku to take damage from a pure Saiyan or movie boss enemy, it, it has to be like an easy A stage pass, like 500 or something like that. Cause it's like, it's just so much damage reduction combined with a defensive set. That's actually good. Like he has a good defensive set, this God Goku. So uh, him taking damage is just outright not going to be a common occurrence. So let me know what you guys think about this God Goku but uh, he looks as good as advertised. Um, this is exactly what the LR gods needed to help them be even better. And so, like, now you just run this guy and the LR gods on a rotation. And you don't have weaknesses. And the units are going to be able to get full key. They're going to get full orbs. It's going to be absolutely ridiculous. So, let me know what you guys think of Tech God Goku. Thanks, guys, for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time.